Hey everybody, this is Roadblock. Welcome back to the Defense Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Virginia class guided missile cruisers. The Virginia class was a series of four nuclear powered guided missile cruisers that served in the U.S. Navy from 1976 until the late 1990s. They were the final class of nuclear powered cruisers completed for the U.S. Navy. The ships were derived from the design of the earlier California class of nuclear powered cruisers. The Virginia class ships were 586 feet long and displaced around 11,600 tons. They could make 35 knots and had a virtually unlimited range. With their nuclear power plants and the resulting capability of steaming at high speeds for long periods of time, these were excellent escorts for the fast nuclear powered aircraft carriers such as the Nimitz class. Their main mission was as air defense ships, although they did have capabilities in anti-submarine warfare surface-to-surface -surface warfare, and they could bombard shore targets. Let's take a look at the sensors and electronics. The ANSPS-48E 3D air search radar is a U.S. Navy electronically scanned array air search three-dimensional radar system. The ANSPS-49 2D air search radar is a United States Navy two-dimensional long-range air search radar built by Raytheon that can provide contact bearing and range. The ANSPS-55 surface search radar is a solid state surface search and navigation radar. The ANSPQ-9A gunfire control radar is a United States Navy multi-purpose surface search and fire control radar used with the Mark 86 gunfire control system. The ANSPG-60 fire control radar is a United States Navy tracking radar that is part of the Mark 86 gunfire control system. The ANSPG-51 missile fire control radar is an American tracking and illumination fire control radar for RIM-24 Tartar and RIM-66 standard missiles. The ANSQS-26 bow-mounted sonar is a United States Navy surface ship bow-mounted, low-frequency, active-passive sonar array developed by the Naval Underwater Sound Laboratory. The ANSLQ-32 is a shipboard electronic warfare suite built by the Raytheon Company and the Hughes Aircraft Company. It is currently the primary electronic warfare system in use by U.S. Navy ships. The Mark 36 SRBOC also known as the BAE Systems Mark 36 Super Rapid Bloom Offboard Countermeasures Chaff and Decoy Launching System is an American short-range decoy launching system that launches radar or infrared decoys from naval vessels to foil incoming anti-ship missiles. The ANSLQ-25 Nixie and its variants are towed torpedo decoys used on U.S. warships. Now let's take a look at the armament. The ships were armed with two Mark 26 twin arm guided missile launching systems for the RIM-66 standard missile and then later for the SM-2 missile after an upgrade. They carried two 5-inch naval guns. They had one RUR-5 ASROC anti-submarine rocket. They had two twin Mark 32 fixed torpedo launchers. They had two Mark 141 quad launchers for RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles. This was after the refit. Also after the refit, they had two Mark 143 armored box launchers for Tomahawk missiles. Also after the refit, they were equipped with two Phalanx close-in weapon systems. The ships in the class were the USS Virginia, USS Texas, USS Mississippi, and USS Arkansas. USS Arkansas was the final nuclear-powered surface ship built for the U.S. Navy that is not an aircraft carrier. The early retirement of the Virginia-class cruisers has been widely criticized in the past. These were new, modern ships, and given a new threat upgrade overhaul, they would have been well-suited to counter modern threats. They had relatively short service lives. As nuclear-powered ships, however, they were very expensive to operate. They were also not configured with VLS cells for missile launching. With the U.S. Navy commissioning the then-new Ticonderoga-class missile cruisers and the first of the Arleigh Burke destroyers, the lower manpower and operating costs of these new ships won out, and the last Virginia-class ship, the USS Arkansas, was decommissioned in 1998.
I want to thank you guys for watching the Defense Channel. Thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. We've got lots of new content coming. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.